Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number with numbers up to 50 and we will do this with addition questions. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 39 plus something equals 48. Now in the previous tutorial we used a number grid. We're not going to do that this time. Now the question 39 plus something equals 48, what this means is what number do we have to add to the 39 to make it equal to 48. Now as we've mentioned before what we can do is move the 39 across to this side over here. So therefore the question then reads In fact, I'll just do this over here. Okay, we're moving it across. It equals 48 minus. Okay, it's, th it's plus on the left-hand side. If you move it onto the other side of the equals, it's minus. So this becomes minus. 48 minus 39. So what is the missing number? Well, this is nice and easy. We're going to do this by way of the long by way of the vertical format. So 48 minus 39. Let's label the columns. We've got units, we've got tens. You can also use the dot method and also the number line just to do this as well. However, we're going to do this in the vertical format because you will come across larger numbers than this. Okay, now we're going to do the subtraction. It's Starting on the right hand side, 8 minus 9. Now we cannot do 8 minus 9 because 8 is smaller than 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one from the digit to the left, the 4. So let's cross out the 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And the one we have taken from here, we're going to move to the units column. So the units has now become 18 minus 9. That's the units column. 18 minus 9 is 9. As for the tens, well, it's 3 minus 3, the answer is 0. So therefore, 48 minus 9, uh, sorry, minus 39 is 9. And that is our answer. So we can write this in the top one as well. 39 plus 9 equals 48. Now, I'm showing you all the workings when we're doing this. However, with a bit of practice, you'll be able to do all of this without the workings and improve your accuracy as well as your speed. Okay, let's have a look at our second example. This time we have something plus 27 equals 39. Something plus 27 equals 39. So basically, what number do we have to add to 27 to make it equal to 39? Now, we can either do that or as we did earlier, we can move this over to the right-hand side. Therefore, this becomes something equals 39. And because we're taking it across, it's minus 27. Okay? It's plus on the left-hand side. You move it across, you're taking away. And we can do this in the vertical format as well. 39 minus 27. Okay, it's a nice easy one, so we'll work through this quickly. Starting on the right hand side, 9 minus 7. Well, 9 minus 7 is 2. And now the tens, we've got 3 minus 2. Well, 3 minus 2 is 1. That is our answer, 12. Okay, and we can write this in the original question. So 12 plus 27 equals 39. 12 plus 27 equals 39. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 50 when we are looking at addition questions.